Better find something else to wear. I really wish I had my suitcase. Do you believe that the monster could be real? If it is, I know a guy who will pay through the nose for movie rights. That didn't exactly answer my question. Didn't it? See you later. Goodbye. What are you wearing? You look like you're in a cartoon. Your outfit is pretty weird, too. It is? I thought it was pretty cool. Oh, no, it it's cool. Sure, whatever. What do you think of Marcus? Who? He's the man who owns the castle. Oh, okay. I don't know him. I think I heard my dad talk about him a few times. I don't think he likes him all that much. Why would you leave a bucket of water over my door? I'm only allowed to watch two hours of television a week. I've got a lot of time on my hands. I'd like to play a round of Monster. To Monster Stadium. Oh, <laughs> 
logo. Thanks, see you later. Bye, Nancy. Hi. Can you tell me a little about Lucas? Has he been bothering you? Be honest now. A little. Very sorry about that. He's my nephew. His father's the head of security here, so Lucas has pretty much got the run of the place. Although, that goes to his head now and again. Don't let him pester you too much now, and let me know if he's bothering you. Will do. He's got too much energy for sure, and he's a little too smart for his own good, but a good kid still. Did you and Marcus date? Yes, but that was a long time ago. Were you too serious? We were, or at least we thought we were. <laughs> you know how it is. But that's all in the past now. We chat every now and again for work, but that's about it. So Marcus is okay with you working here? He wasn't at first, but he asked around and found out I do a good job. We both decided to be mature about it. Did you leave this costume out for me? No. Someone must have left it out for you for the festival. It looks great on you. Huh. What? Oh, that dress. It just looks really familiar. I wonder where I've seen it before. Has Lucas always been such a prankster? Ugh! Unfortunately, yes. I swear he was trying to trick us before he said his first word. Even as a baby, he had this glint in his eye like he was up to something. It was less cute than you'd imagine, actually. Why does he seem to target Carl? I know. You are thinking I condone it. I don't. Lucas's father is always so busy running security. Honestly, I think that Lucas is a little lonely these days. He doesn't have a lot of friends at school, from what I can tell. He must like the attention. That being said, I think most of these so-called pranks are Carl's doing. What do you mean? The way he blunders through life. It's not surprising that he always thinks he's the victim of some practical joke. He's the victim of a joke, all right, but it's more cosmic than practical. Bye. Bye, Nancy. Hi, Nancy. Have you seen a burr like this before? Let me see. Hmm. Yes, I've seen something like that out in the woods. Anya mentioned a glass shop. Can you help me find a way in? She did, did she? Fine. You want to look in there? Go ahead, but stay away from the furnace. Why's that? It's a glass furnace. It's deadly. We've had accidents. It is not for fooling around. Be very careful. You could die down there. Thanks. What do you think of Marcus? He does not know what he's doing. He thinks we should all listen to him because he has a briefcase. Any fool can get one of those things and anyway, they are silly. What is this, 1986? Not anymore, it isn't. What do you think of Renata? Did you know that Anya wants her to go? I don't understand why. She's such a great storyteller. This isn't the first time she's come here, you know. Although it was before my time, she knows a lot about this place. Anya told me she likes Renata. I'm pretty sure that's not the case. Maybe she's trying to impress you by pretending to be far friendlier than she actually is.
This thing, what is it? Why does everyone just call it the monster? Honestly, there is not much we know about it. What do you mean? Most of us have only seen the destruction it leaves behind. But it still seems like you would know enough about it to at least give it a name. After all this time? I heard it had a name long, long ago. The villagers, hundreds and hundreds of years ago, they knew the monster. They would leave food for him deep in the woods. They were all terrified of him, of course, but so were the wolves. If they kept the monster fed, he would not bother them, and they could raise their livestock in peace. But one night, the monster broke into the castle and kidnapped the Freiherr's only daughter. He was broken-hearted and decreed that the monster be killed on sight. He demanded that the townsfolk no longer leave food in the woods. It was forbidden to speak the monster's name in town. What happened? No one knows. No one even knows how true the story is. It was a long time ago. But there are many stories like it that happened in these walls. I'd like to help you with your character again. All right. Now, what do you think? Brown fur or black fur? Black. Thanks. I'd like to play a round of raid. Great! Victory!
round. Bye. Goodbye. What are you wearing, Nancy? Change out of that this instant! What's the matter? It's just a costume for the celebration. It was left in my room. Who left that in your room? I don't know. It was just there with a note to put it on. I still don't see what the big deal is. Change out of it now! What happened? Who would do something like this? I'd better hang on to this. Why are you still wearing that? My clothes, they're gone. Someone tore them to shreds. <laughs> this is bad. Who did it? I don't know. I don't even know why anyone would want to do it. Someone thinks it's important that you look the part, it seems. Do you think the stories are real? I know. I, I think some part of the story is. I do not know. But you... You need to live as if it was true. You said I know. What do you know? I'm an old woman who speaks many languages. When I'm tired, sometimes the words do not behave as they should. You're right. You know the expression truth is stranger than fiction? Yes. It is true, especially here. What do you think of Anya? You ask me? She should be in charge of this castle. She's smart. She's strong. She actually understands the history of the castle. Why is that important? When I'm here, I try not to tell the stories of what has happened at this castle. Why not? Fate has a cruel habit of digging in its claws when tempted. But I will say this. In the event of disaster, I'd rather have Anya in charge than Karl. Why do you have such a bad reputation? That's not up to me to decide or care about. Why is that? I have more interesting things to think about than my reputation. And so do you. Are storytellers still in demand? No. Today people want flashy computer games and big budget movies. They want instant gratification. The old stories they traveled from one storyteller to another for millennia. Now they are dying off. And ah, that must be sad for you. No, I know the stories. You do not. It is sad for you. How much longer do you plan on being a storyteller? As long as I've got teeth, false or otherwise. Do you and Carl get along? No. Why is that? I ask you, do we seem like we should get along? He's an officious bureaucrat. He's desperate to control everything. You can't trust someone like that. Why don't you tell stories about the castle when you're here? This land, this castle, has known more than its fair share of misery. There is a saying from where I'm from. When death goes to take a ride, he follows the road that serves him best. If that's what you believe, why are you here? My affairs... I'm mine alone. And anyway, a good storyteller knows to leave the big reveal for the end. What if I don't want a story? What if I just want to know why you're here? You're very persistent. I was right to like you. Still, my life's work is words. I know them well. When to speak, 
more importantly, than to stay silent. Why are you really here? What do you mean? Anya told me you have a habit of showing up whenever there's talk of the monster. Is that true? Trust me, I don't keep track of gossip when I'm traveling. The weather, yes. The gossip, no. From what I hear, it doesn't seem like a coincidence. I'd watch what I said if I was you. I'd better hang on to this. I need to figure out the color code to open this. What's Renata up to? It seems like she's tracking the monster. There's a dungeon in this castle. I'd better find it. Oh. 